It's 8 o'clock, the first wave of the Ultra North 55 in 2021 has just set off. I have to say I'm a little bit nervous because it's my first ever Ultra. 55 kilometres, runs from here, Swalwell Cricket Ground, down the River Derwent to the Tyne, into the centre of Newcastle and back along the river, along to Wylam and then up to Chopwell Woods. I'll do a load of shots along the way. I hope you enjoy the journey with me. How are you feeling, Simon? Well, pretty good. I've done plenty of training, and you know, this is this is a training run for the wall, really. Yeah. Nice, nice day. Long slow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on feet. Good, good, good crowd of people as well. I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Look at this. Let's show everyone, shall we? Hey! How are you doing, Craig? <laughs> as you can see, there's a lot of anticipation here. It's going to be great. Oh, this, is, this is Lee Colson, who's one of my associates with Elsie Carriers. Yeah, you've done this one before, have you? Yeah. First one. First one. Yeah, well, you've done the ultras. Did the walls did Edinburgh. So, this yeah. Is third, never did it before. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was great day. Yeah. yeah. And have you trained for it, or are you just running it? More training than usual, but I'll just be taking it easy. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. I've I've been training because I've not really done huge distances, so I've definitely been doing training. Yeah. yeah okay. Lovely. Well, good luck. Cheers. Thank you. Next six in, please. Thank you. Very near the start now. Have you let lots of people through? Lords. Tell us a lot more to go. <laughs> so, <Simon. laughs> He's got Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you're looking for on course today, orange tape and orange signage. Um, everyone should have a copy of the event control phone number, that's on the bottom of your race number. Um, please do ring that number if you get into the <laughs> Absolutely stunning day. Couldn't ask for better weather. It's due to go up to about 20 degrees C today, but at the moment, probably about what 14, do you say? Something like that. It's quite cool, um, especially in just your vest. But uh, we're currently just running down the side of the River Derwent. Go, Newburn! Nice to see you all. Crossing the Derwent on my favorite, one of my favorite bridges. You know how much I love this bit. This is ultra running discussion. <laughs> We're about six and a half, just over six and a half K in. Running along the south bank of the Tyne, we've been joined by Don Phipps of Newburn Running Club, which is a club that runs from this more or less the same place as Elswick does. And uh, we're all kind of doing the same thing. Dom's doing the wall in two weeks as well, so this is a training run for him too. But it's a lovely day, isn't it? It is. Awesome. Yeah. So How do you feel about it? Is your training been going well? Do you feel yeah, prepared? Good. Yeah, not too bad. Good for this distance, whether it'll translate to 70 miles, we'll, we'll see. Well, from what I've read, having never done one, but, and been told by experienced ultra runners, it's about time on your feet and each week doing plenty of miles and it prepares you. So, okay. Well, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just keep going then, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, have to remember not to turn left and go over the swing bridge. Yeah. It's just there, look. <laughs> Up the hill. <laughs> they say walk the hills, but I forgot. Yeah. And ran it. It's, a little one, it's only a little one. Okay, heading towards Gateshead Millennium Bridge now. All over again. Lovely. 
lovely seeing Newcastle quayside in the sun. <laughs> lovely. Really looking forward to crossing this bridge in two weeks, but it'll be in the other direction. This is the finishing point for the wall. Oh, look at this, what a place. Morning. Hi. Thank you. Back along the quayside now. I was going west. So this is quite a long route all the way to Wylam. It's probably about 10 miles, something like that. But lovely view across the fishing boats. We're going well here. Pace is nice and consistent. We haven't reached 10k yet, but doing nicely. Speak for yourself, my knees are shot and my back's aching. <laughs> so we're just coming up to 15k. <laughs> Only another 40 to go. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> yeah. How are so you hot. feeling, Lee? Hot. <laughs> but strength-wise? strong, yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, pretty good. So our pace is about 550, six minute kilometers. Which is about a 10 minute mile uh, which is what we set out to do so it's going nicely let's keep going <laughs> so we're just coming into an area called lemmington I, and it's not far from newburn so i think louise might be at newburn to see us which would be really nice i might even stop for a pee <laughs> down the hill that should not be run up now it is nice isn't it home's just up there and we're running past it you know what that means don't you and here the new burn checkpoint so on the wagon way definitely on home territory now Lee very familiar <laughs> Oh, is this the stopping point? Oh. Hi. So here we are, we're at the Newburn checkpoint. Just gone past Louise and uh, Dion there, who's from Newburn Running Club. Not quite at the not quite at the half marathon stage, but very close. Brilliant. Almost 24k now. We're on the wagon way west of Newburn, nearly to Wylam, which is probably about something like the halfway path point. We're just going past George Stevenson's birthplace. Um, it's like a motorway here now on this road since they resurfaced it last August. It's fantastic. We're about to be lapped by Claire. <laughs> Hi Claire, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. You? Yeah, good, thanks. Maybe I should stay with you. <laughs> this, this is my any runner um, video. All right, dear. Claire, now you're with Stocksfield, aren't you? I am, Stocksfield yeah. And I've run next to you lots of times. You have. Mostly on park <laughs> run. Yeah. And you, you're the person I chase. <laughs> well, I'm going to chase you today. This is my first ultra. This is mine so, too. Okay. How are you doing? I'm going to get a hand up so far. Yeah. Good. I'm just worried I've gone too fast, but it feels all right mm. at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're about... Nearly halfway now. Yeah. This is Lee, by the way. Hi. Um, I think we might be the only two Elza carriers doing this. Okay. Yeah. And, and then one straighter other than me. Right, okay. Yeah. Have you got any. Have you been training for it? Uh, no, I entered on Tuesday. Oh, well done. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's yeah. quite a long way because, I mean, I know you. I've been running, but I've never done the distance. Yeah, but half marathons up to I've seen you. Have you done marathons before? No, when you are. Right, okay. I've done 24 yeah. myself. Yeah. But, uh, yeah okay, cool. Oh well, <laughs> you're overtaking us, but well, I'm, I'm doing the wall next week, so, oh, oh week after next, so yeah. this is a training run. Yeah. And uh, 
so I'm not uh, trying to overdo it today. No, it's a real to test, it. though, this distance, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, totally. Yeah, good. Right. Oh, well, nice, nice to, to see, see you. Yeah. I'll let you get ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the nice things, I think, about running around here is you get to know people oh, and they say hello. Bikes coming through. Yeah. Crossing the River Tyne, so this is Wylam Bridge. This section's called, apparently. Sorry? All right, Ank ankle break alley. I don't want to break my ankle, so I'll let these people go by. <laughs> With another ultra in two weeks, I really don't want to be twisting my ankle and injuring myself, so I could probably risk it coming up here but I'm just not going to it's a hill, it's a hill. you walk the hills <laughs> well well reminded Lee so walking up a hill done through 33 kilometers so that's 22 to go just over a half marathon he's behind me just up there I think he's flagging a little bit but we've just been through the third checkpoint. Uh, it's a lot of confusion, but I'll tell you something, I had a cup of Coke and it, it's never tasted that good before. Oh. Keep going. We're into the Chopwell Wood section now. It's all on trail. Uh, lots of undulations and quite steep hills and elevation gain in this. Uh, we're coming up to the 34k mark, so you know it's uh, still over, still about 22, to, over 20 to go. I have to say, I'm getting a little bit weary now. Lee's feeling it as well, aren't you? Yeah, but, I guess uh, I know. Well, we're still going. I can see the tiredness in a lot of people's legs, and definitely the walking uphill section. go just over the 40k mark only 15 to go definitely tired well weary anyway uh, and this is where it's definitely mind over matter how are you feeling Lee tired but still enjoying it <laughs> on the home stretch yeah. Thank you. So we've just, just gone over the 50k, less than five to go. Definitely tired, but it's home straight. We're about to run downhill. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? As long as there's a pint we're at the end. <laughs> a pint of tea, I wouldn't mind. Oh, it's cold, you know. <laughs> Right, here we go. Finish line just about in sight. Oh, nearly there. Come on, Lee. Oh, my God, that was hard. Oh, oh, oh. 
cold water. Oh, I'm to choose my t-shirt now. I think I'll go for a small. Smoke? Yep. Oh. Thank you. I'm getting cramped. Well, I'm not sure if I'm cut out for ultra running. 55k actually was just under. Had a bit of a rest now. It is quite simply the hardest run I've ever done. I've done some toughies in my time, but my goodness, that was something else. Anyway, Louise is driving over to come and collect us. I am really, really looking forward to a pint of cider. Nice cold cider this afternoon. But I could also murder a good big cup of tea. Something to eat. And also, last 10k, cramping up in both calves. Could feel it, it's twanging on the muscles. Um, especially my soleus in both calves. Uh, in my hamstrings. One thing I've definitely learned is I need to do a bit more of taking on electrolytes during a long run like this. I've never suffered like that before, even in a marathon. So that's my learning for this one. So I'm going to uh, sign off now and I'll see you probably on the next one. It could well be the wall in two weeks. Bye. See, this is what happens. <laughs> Hurry up, Simon. Oh. Anyone would think you've just run 55k. I have. <laughs> See how tough I am. <laughs> Cup of tea? Gasping. <laughs>